Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. But what of the ones with their camo and guns? Will their deeds be remembered or not? But it's hard to remember, I can see you protesting. I wasn't there, I've not seen, it's hard to imagine and... I take your point, I can see what you're saying. So let me take you back to the time of the slayings. Back to 1939, the start of World War II. When the Nazis, they came for six million Jews. They swept throughout Europe as Hitler's armies pressed on and many a person found their freedoms were gone. This evil, it took a powerful force to end. It took love, it took courage, it took death to amend. They line up the platoons, little lambs to the slaughter, paying the price to free their sons and daughters. A great sacrifice to not consider their own lives, a true sacrifice as they left behind their own wives to go to that field, to stand and not flee, taking their last post so that we can be free. The Jews faced death for the way they were born. And it's true that our lives face a similar thorn. We were born with hearts that reject God as Lord. But the wages of sin is a price we can't afford. The death of the Jews was unfair. And it hits. But we reject our creator. The punishment fits. And you might think it odd that I speak of a God as we're talking of war. But you see, he's at the core. God is not Hitler. There's no hollow speeches. While secretly his army presses on to the beaches. No. God is love and knows what has to be done. So he dives in the trench and grabs not a gun, but two pieces of wood tied together across. God is not a dictator. He's the boss on the cross. See, God was safe. He was never in danger when he chose to come down as the king in the manger. He was free from death's curse. It would never affect him because he's perfect and death is for sin. Now those who knew Jesus rejoiced, knowing they saw God face to face. See, nothing is greater than God's loving grace. So he left his throne when he saw his in need to come down to earth and be killed on a tree. Paying the price of death for our sin so that rather than dying, our life can begin. You know, our troops fought that war. We thank our sisters and brothers. Given some time though, there's always another. But the war that God fought, the one that saw Jesus fall, was a war that was fought just once and for all because though Jesus fell, he rose out of the grave, showing us clearly our lives had been saved. So today, do remember those who fought and we've lost. But if you want to know life, see the boss on the cross. <laughs>